All right, working with what is known as a TRX roll out here. So what we're going to do is be grabbing the TRX straps here. We're going to walk the body out, creating a high plank style position here. So we want to make sure those hands are directly underneath those shoulders. So we're not out too far or having the shoulders up over the hands. All right, so setting up thinking like you're holding a high plank almost from a ground level position here. Going to think, rotate, create that screw in those hands. So we're gonna keep those shoulders nice and tight. We're just going to bring the arms out as far as we can and then bring them right back in. Control all the way out, bring them right back in. Make sure we keep that core nice and tight. That way as we extend, we don't drop the belly or the hips down. Just keeping that core tight, come all the way up and all the way back in. That is what is known as a TRX fallout. All right, another good alternative here. Many of us are used to what is known as a pal off press, where we grab that band, bring it to the center of the chest, exhale, drive it straight out, preventing that band from twisting that torso. Well, this time we're gonna add in a little bit more oblique and then actually focus on the rotation away from the rack here. So we're actively going to be pulling and getting a little bit of rotation through that trunk to help engage the core and those obliques to pull that band again away from the TRX rack. So soft bend in those knees. We're gonna bring that band to center chest. We're actually gonna extend the arm straight out. As we exhale, we're gonna try to keep that band to the center of the chest. Rotate to one side, bring it right back. Rotate, bring it right back. Couple of things, making sure we're keeping those shoulders relaxed. We don't wanna be shrugging and trying to push that band away. Shoulders down and back, tuck the ribs. Same thing as we'd normally set up with a traditional pal off press. But again, exhale, a little rotation here. Notice as I rotate, I'm getting a little bit of hip motion as well. So I'm not just solely trying to rotate with my back here and keeping the hips uh, forward. I wanna have a little bit of rotation here and then come right back. One more and come right back. With a traditional side plank this time, if you want to add a little bit more of a challenge, a little more resistance, we can go ahead and rig up a band to a TRX rack. So how it's going to look set up. We're going to come down in our traditional side plank position here. So again, getting set up forearm and toes. We want to make sure that that elbow is set up directly underneath that shoulder. That way it's not out too far in too close, putting or jeopardizing that shoulder position here. So elbow directly underneath that shoulder, put in that safe position and go ahead, grab that band behind us. Biggest thing here, we're gonna reach straight up. So we wanna create a straight line from that elbow to the fingertips. We don't wanna be rocking forward or letting that band pull the torso back. So keeping that core nice and tight, we are going to bridge the hips up and hold that position here again in that straight line. So we shouldn't be dipping forward, going back, keeping it nice and straight here. We also wanna make sure we don't drop the hips back or drop them towards the floor. So again, up nice and tall if you need to. Do it from the knees, shorten your lever. We can do it here as well, still creating that resistance.